Hey guys, Pamela McElroy, kettlebellathletics.com. Check out the website if you haven't already. Um, here's your third little detail that you want to try to perfect um, to make your windmills just that much better. All right. So I'm actually going to load this one up as a high windmill. So we're going to clean and press or snatch, whatever you want to do to get it overhead. All right. Again, you're going to set yourself up so you have about 80% of your body weight on that same side leg that has the arm overhead. And instead of having to worry about folding forward or doing a side bend, in case you're not sure which angle your body is supposed to follow, we're just going to take our hand and guide it down our leg as low as our flexibility allows. You're going to fire with the left glute, stand back up, bring your hips through to full extension. Readjust for the weight distribution. Follow your leg down. So ideally, you want to try to make a tabletop with your torso. All right? Fire with the left glute, stand back up. All right? So try to apply all three of those, you know, points to your windmills. You'll find out they become 